On today's video, we'll be changing out a mailbox lock. Now the first thing you want to consider is you want to consider what kind of lock you want to put on your mailbox. There are multiple locks that you can use, but you want to make sure you get the one that best suits your budget and your specific needs. This is just a basic, regular replacement NA14 key uh, with the lock. If you already have a lock on your mailbox and the issue is you're not able to open it or you've lost the key, um, you go ahead and ask for your um, mail carrier to open up your lock. Um, your, your, especially if you live on a complex, usually all of the mailboxes have individual locks, but then there's a master lock that the mail carrier will use to open up the access panel to put the mail inside. So for instance, this is the lock that the mail carrier uses. Once they open this lock, the, every single um, door will open as one complete door when this lock is opened and removed. I have seen um, guys, when they lose the key or they don't have the key, what they'll do is they'll stick a screwdriver in between the door and wedge it open then they'll take a hammer and with the claw side sticking this way they'll literally just wedge it and pop it but just make sure if you do go that route that you do it on the lock portion itself you don't want to bend the doors you can see here there's been issues before with the scratching and you can see here there's just a few nicks this is from somebody prior trying to open it up um, again, if for some reason you can't get a hold of your mail carrier, if you have just a personal lock that you want to change out, that's the option that you can use or you can drill it out. But just popping it is a lot more simpler because these locks are, I mean, this is all that it is that secures it. And if you put a little bit of pressure, it'll bend. Okay, so to get started, the first thing you want to do is you'll want to remove the key from the lock. The reason we did that is because when we install the new lock, it's supposed to be with the key out sometimes. And it's happened before to me where uh, I'll install it with the key inside. And then at the end, I realize that it's in the open position Then I'll have to disassemble and put everything back. So just make sure when you're installing it, you're installing it without the key. Now here we have two different ways to fasten or secure the lock. You have the actual nut and then you have this little... Um, slip lock mechanism. Um, I prefer just to use the nut um, because just a more secure, firmer hold. It's really up to you and how you want to do it. If you prefer to use this little lock mechanism, you simply there's some grooves inside of the lock on the side and it basically just slides in and then slides down. You'll have to use pressure when you do it. I prefer to use the actual nut because it really fastens down and secures by the threading and uh, it's just a little more secure than the other slip lock mechanism. Go ahead and secure the nut. You don't have to over torque it or over tighten it, just nice and snug will do. In your packaging you'll have a little lock washer and then you'll have a nut. You'll want to put that to the side. Now this is going to be the hardest or more difficult part of installing the lock. You see there's many different styles of latches. You have longer ones, you have some with just angles on them. Now the reason being is because this gives you many options for securing your box. You can see here on this particular box, it's a little thicker. So we need the lock to get behind this little lip. And the one that I'm going to need is obviously going to be one that is at an angle so that it'll get me behind this lip when the door locks. If you're unsure of which latch to use, you can always dry fit it, but usually when you take out your old lock, you can kind of look at the latch that was on that and kind of get an idea of which latch you're going to use. So I know that this one is the wrong size, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry fit it for you and then you'll see what I'm talking about when we put this latch on, it's not going to allow me to secure the door. So just remember, as I said, the key is out, which means that the lock should be in the locked position. So I'm going to install it like this in the locked position. And then when we put the key in, it will open the lock. Right now I'm putting the nut on. I'm dry fitting it, so I'm not going to really secure it. 
is just enough for us to do a quick test. You can see here without the key it should be in the lock position. So now I'm going to put the key in and then we're going to open it and then try to resecure it. I have my key inside and I'm going to open it. And you can see here my key doesn't want to latch. The reason being the latch is too long. So it's not going to allow me to secure it and pull my key out. This is locked. This is open. So we're going to have to change and put the proper latch that was in there. You can see here I took the key out and when I install my latch, I'm going to put it in the locked position. You can see here I put my lock nut washer and then I put my nut and the key still in the mailbox. You can see here it's in the lock position. Now I'm going to put my key in and then I'm going to open the lock and then close it back. And you can see it's nice and secure. Now just as a reminder, these are the original keys that came with the mail lock. You always want to keep these, if you're the original owner, keep these. This is what you'll use to make a copy. So here I made a copy. And I'm going to test the copy, make sure the copy works on this mailbox. And you can see here, it works perfectly.